Hey guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're just joining us now, welcome! I hope you are all doing well. I've been fannying around with the background this morning and I'm aware it still looks very shit, okay? Please just try not to judge. I'm, I'm trying. Obviously, I have my own office, which um, is a bit cluttered with furniture, but I have cleared it out since the Christmas and I'm trying to work out the best filming space. I do have like a leaf print wallpaper, but I know when I filmed um, against there previously, a lot of people have said it hurts the eyes, so I don't want to be hurting your eyes watching my videos. So I've gone for more simplistic, like a white background, and then I've just got like my little leaf thing here. It looks very basic and I do need to work on the filming background. So if you've got any recommendations on what you want to see is a kind of sit down filming background then let us know I don't really want to put any fairy lights up because it just reminds us of being back at me mum's and although I loved living at me mum's I kind of want a new era on the channel so yeah if you have anyone in particular whose filming background you really like let us know because I'm aware mine is very plain boring and simplistic and it just looks a bit shit let's be real but for today's video it's going to have to do hopefully it's better than the clutter we've been seeing in previous videos so for today's video as you can tell by the title i have a huge home bargains and poundland haul i'm so excited because i went there the other day and i got some amazing stuff and some stuff that i really really needed so i want to do a haul for years and i haven't done one on my channel in a while i think it's been well probably mid-december so if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe but i do want to quickly say please 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 do not go to these shops unless you are going for necessity items we are in a national lockdown so only go to the shops if you need food um cleaning products and and products that would be deemed necessity i did need to pick up a few necessity bits hence why i went over there um but yeah let's just get into the video and i really hope you enjoyed it i'm going to start with the big items because we've got a few bulky bits and i need to get the bulky bits out of the way so i really needed one of these um it's one of these rack things to dry your clothes on because the dryer in my house is constantly going and I needed some other solution so I'm going to pop this in the utility but this is what it is it's just a big drying rack thing and I think this was only 10 pound from home bargains it was really affordable the first thing is one of these little sweepy things um again this is from home bargains and I think it was five pound maybe um but it's just really cute it's got this on it's like a dust off of the floor i really needed one of these because um honestly i was just lacking it and i remember my mom used to have one and i thought it was a really nifty little product to just get in there i need to pick it up so the downstairs of my house is primarily wooden floorings like laminate and wood and stuff like that so it needs mopped all of the time i'm always getting my mop and bucket out especially because i have two puppies and we do have accidents and you know stuff like that so i seen this and i really wanted to try it it's basically a mop but instead of having to trail the bucket around with you you put your solution in here then you press this little nifty device and your liquid will come out of the bottom and then it's got this little padded thing on which you can like reuse and wash and everything and then just go around your floors and wipe it i mean i really like the idea of this i thought it was much better than us having to carry around my bucket because a bucket is just inconvenient and i'm not gonna lie i don't like the mops with all the bits they're just like i don't know i've just not been loving my mopping situation and i thought you know what this could actually be a really good idea so i'll probably use this on the second channel if you want to see how it goes but it's basically a spray mop and it's by the brand power action no bucket required makes mopping your floors easy saves time simply spray and clean so i'm actually really excited about this we're just going to move on to just the products that i bought now in the bags i have three bags full of stuff to show you so okay so because my bulky items were from home bargains i'll stick to the home bargain stuff first and then i'll show you poundland so the next thing i got in home bargains is this hair clamp it says made with biodegradable starch it just looks like this but honestly i always clip my hair up these days instead of using bobbles just because i feel like bobbles like snap my hair and my hair condition has been getting much better recently and i'm really trying to keep it like that so these little clips are really great for just clipping my hair up when i want it out my face and i really like this one it's just a nude color and i think it's part of the sustainable range that home bargains brought out when i was in home bargains i seen they had like a sustainable range and they had quite a few little bits in it and this was part of that so i thought i'd pick it up the thing that i got is just for the pups so the puppies are obviously they're four month old now and they're you know they love playing with their toys but they get bored of their toys quite easily as well and i'm constantly trying to think of new games and new things to do with them so if anybody has any really good like puppy games and stuff like that but i always like to get them a new toy i would say once every two weeks i try and pick them up like a new little toy with a different sound or a different mind puzzle for them because i really want them to like 
I don't know, I just want them to be entertained. So I seen this in Home Bargains and I thought they'd really like it. It's just a little play plush toy and they really like that crackly sound. They love that. They have a few toys for that noise and they love it. So I picked up this. It's just a little rabbit. Um, he has a squeak in him as well, I think. He does. So they're going to love him. He's just got a cute little face. Um, he's actually really soft as well. But yeah, he's got a nice crackle and I know they'll really like him. So picked them up a strawberry as well. I just thought this was really cute. And it's got nice little arms that they can have a good chew on. And it's got a little squeak. So yeah, I got them a little strawberry and a little rabbit. The next thing I picked up is just a, another one of these for the duster that I got. Obviously, this is just another reusable one, so I can keep washing them and constantly have one. Just a microfiber flat mop refill, um, and you can use these wet or dry as well. I didn't actually know you could use it wet. So that's interesting, and you can just wash them in the washing machine. Hopefully, two will do us for quite a while, and then once they get, like, really beyond repair, I can just buy some more. Next thing I got is just a dustpan and brush. So, I have... Well, I did have two dustpan and brushes. I had one at the time of renovations and I think it got thick with plaster that had been it. Then I had another one which I got from Cherries and again, I think it's just beyond repair. So I just picked up another cheap one. This was like 89 pence. It's white and it's just a dustpan and brush. The next thing I got, I mean, I'm trying not to buy mugs because let's be real, my mug cupboard is getting a little bit over full. But I seen this one and I just really liked it. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to get it on a... It's this. I mean, it's so cute. It's just black and white mug and it just has coffee written on it. And I just really like the style of it. And buying a new mug just gets us excited. It was $1.99, so dead affordable. And I like the little black rim around the front of it. And I'm not going to lie, I just really like this little mug. So I thought I'd bring it home with us and add it to the collection. The thing I got is just a little Valentine's card. Obviously, I'm with Sean, so we do tend to get each other a few little things for Valentine's Day. Even though I do think it is very overrated and just for, like, money. But in any way... I just got him this little card. It was just eight, uh, 79 pence and it just says for the one that I love and it's got the Me You Bear on. I just thought it was cute and I thought while I was there I would pick one up because I know what I'm like. It'll get like the day before Valentine's Day and I want to pick a card up so I thought I'd just get one in. The next thing I got is just another pack of face masks. I do tend to use or try to use my reusable ones where possible. However, these ones are just so handy to keep in the car when I do forget to have a reusable one with this because they are mandatory to wear. Um, so this is just the 50 disposable protective face masks. Um, super soft, three layer protection. And these are the white ones. So yeah, I thought these, I picked these up. And you know what, right? I was in Boots before picking up a script, prescription and a box of 50 in Boots were 30 pound. £30 went into home bargains and these were £5.99 so okay the next thing I got I just thought this was adorable it was £2.99 I think and it is a reusable face mask in a kind of like paint dalmatian print but then you've got a matching headband with it as well and I just thought oh my god like imagine me walking around Asda in that little set I thought it was adorable um it's a headband an adult face covering one size fits most and then the last thing that I got in Home Bargains was this. It's the Forest Pine Concentrated Fabulosa Disinfectant. It's an all-in-one disinfectant spray and you use them on hard and soft surfaces. These are the best things since sliced bread. I use these from Fabulosa to clean everything. My table, my work tops. I use it to clean my stairs. I also use it to spray down the sofa. I just use it for everything. They are so, so, so good. Um, they literally get rid of like any dirt and these actually removed all the paint off my stairs. I used to just spray it on leave it a few minutes and wipe it sometimes yeah, i give it a little scratch but it did wipe it off this is in the scent forest pine which i'm presuming is part of the christmas range oh it's got a lovely fresh scent i've had the lemon one i've had the spring blossom one i've had quite a few of them and i really like them all ah you fuck i've just nipped my finger and now we're off to poundland do 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 oh yeah what did we get well i got quite a lot in poundland because I have not been to Poundland in the absolute longest time. So, my bag isn't going to stand up. Cleaning cloths. I really needed some cleaning cloths because the ones that I had, I'm just going through them quick. I'm washing them. But you know when you've, like, used them that much and then they've been in the wash that much that they've become part. And they were leaving, like, little, little like, bits of fibres on my benches and it was really annoying. But I really like the cheaper ones. I've found some of the more expensive ones just aren't that great. So I got these ones. These are the fine knit dish cloths and these were from Poundland. They just look like this. Nothing to them. And then I also got this roll as well. This is the Clean As A Whistle All Purpose Cloth. 
and it's a 50 pack but they just look like this but i actually do rewash these so i do reuse them until they're like ridiculous and then i'll just bin them but yeah so i got two sets of cloths okay and then i got two of these these are just the pillar candles flicker and battery operated so it's obviously the fake candles but i got something else in poundland that i want to go with these i think these were a pound they may have been two pound each but I think they were a pound. Um, you do need to put batteries in them yourself though. But they just look like this. There's two of these. These are from the Rattan range. They are five pound each. And these are the Lantern Candle Holder. This is what they look like. Obviously they've got that bit of polystyrene in. Which I need to like take out. Black. But it has this kind of like. Is it Rattan? Rattan effect. Or wicker effect. Whatever you want to call it. But I just thought these were so cute. And I thought they looked so much more expensive than £5. These are something you'd see in the range for like £12. And I really liked it. And I thought these would go really nice in the bedroom. Because we're going for like a farmhouse bohemian vibe in the bedroom. And I really want to put these in. So I got the candles for in there. Because I thought it would look nice with them flickering through. And then I also got some more toys for the pubs. Because like I said I'm constantly trying to like challenge them with new things. But this is just the nip and chew chew toy it's like a little baby's rattle thing but it's just like these little rubber toys that'd be really good for their teeth because they're teething as well which is a little toothbrush um it's just again just kind of the same they'll probably have a chewed in no time but for a pound you can't complain it's just got like little fake bristles and then little um knobbly bits to have like different textures in their mouth to pick them up two little blankets um i go through so many of these blankets like i said they have been having a few accidents well to be honest they're much better than they used to but um between like they've been sick a few times on them just when they've been like in the car and that um or when they've rushed their food down too quick we'll have like a few little sick accidents um we're, they're not weighing so much in the house now which is really good but these are always handy so it's a dog life and it's just a little mini fleece blanket and i got two of them in like a brownie beige color i'm gonna put these in the living room um on their beds because they have some upstairs in their bedroom but yeah this is a few little toys still from poundland i picked up the cutest little set so i just i don't tend to look in the poundland clothing section because in all honesty i don't often find the stuff that interests us that much but as i was like walking to go into another aisle I had these displayed and i actually thought it was so cute so this is from pep and co i got them in a size 18 it's a little lounge chair but I got this little top which I really like it's in a ribbed grey material and it cuffs yeah and then it cuffs at the bottom as well so you can tighten it and you can have it cropped but I really like this and this was £10 oh no this was £8 which I thought was dead good value I really like the kind of light grey colour and then they had matching joggers as well so I got them I would have liked these in a 16 because I think they're going to be slightly too big but they didn't have a 16 and I thought you know I'm still going to get the 18 I'll just pull them in so this um again these were eight pound and it's just got a ribbed waist where you can like tie it and then they've got little like loose pockets and then you can just they just cuff at the bottom but i just thought this was such a cute little set and the quality feels really good as well and it's such a soft material and like i said we're not really going anywhere i love loungewear and i really like this i wish they did it in black because i would have got it as well to be honest i probably would have got quite a few colors if i had more colors but my poundland only had the grey colour. Next thing I got is a pack of two pint glasses. These are just the swanky dining stuff pint glasses and it's a two pack. It looks like this because the one thing we'll lack in the kitchen is pint glasses. I did buy some from Morrison's a few weeks ago but we still don't have that many so I just thought this was a really really good value set for a pound so I thought I'd pick them up. The thing that I got is just some tea light, um, little tea lights. These are the vanilla crush tea lights. They just look like this. Obviously I got some beautiful wax melts for Christmas and um like little wax burn and set and i needed some tea lights it's something that i don't really have that many of so i just picked up these ones in vanilla crush and then i got these two little baskets which i think were a pound or were the two pound i'm pretty sure they were only a pound each if i can get them undone so i actually wanted these for the downstairs toilet at the back obviously i keep like me pads and that on the little shelf we've got at the back but i wanted something to put them in just to make it look a little bit better so i got these two little baskets i'm going to put one of each side and then i can just use them for storage they're pretty basic but I just thought they looked kind of cute with the little pattern going around them I just thought they looked cute and these did come in three colours so you could either get white, black or grey 
I picked the white up because I feel it'll match most for that little room but maybe I should have got the black because I think it would have looked a bit more modern. A fabulosa spray. I didn't actually realise I picked one of these up in um, Poundland as well but this just kills cold and flu roses. It's the same as the one that I got in Home Bargains but it's a different scent. This is Fresh Breeze and I love fresh linen, fresh scents so I thought I would really like this one. But yes, that is everything that I got from Home Bargains and Poundland. I did buy some food items as well but I have already put them away in the kitchen because I went yesterday and it was like fruit and stuff that wouldn't keep so they're in the kitchen but in any way I really hope you like this haul let us know what your favorite thing was let us know if you would like us to continue doing these cheap bargain hauls because honestly I bloody love these shops but I am only going when it's necessity be out the house I'm not just going to get stuff um, that I don't need I'm getting necessity stuff but anyway I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and I'll see you very shortly for another one bye